Today, I'm gonna show you how to make an Eric DOA type beat just like this. Step number one is to get some guitar. Now, if you have a guitar, make sure to pay attention to this section. If you don't, just go cop some of my loops below. That should be a good starting point or get something like Session Guitarist by Native Instrument and you should be able to get some pretty cool stuff there. If you do have a guitar though and are trying to make loops like this, a couple of things are your best friends. One are open tunings. Now the tuning that I actually use for this is starting at the lowest, like the fat string, F, A, C, G, C, E. And this makes this pretty chord right here. A couple other ones that are popular are open D and open G. Another one of your best friends is a capo because this really helps you get that twinkly type open sound. It's really pretty. On this one, I actually put it on the seventh fret. Something cool about these open chips is a lot of times you can literally just use one or two fingers and get some really cool sounding chords, which is what I did here. In terms of processing, there are a couple different routes you can go. One is you can just use the plugins that you have in your DAW. Two, you can use pedals or something like that. But the third one and the one that I use the most is just using amp sims. And there are a couple ones that I would highly recommend. Any of the archetype ones, Corey Wong, Tim Henson, these are all really good. Or one that's really popular is Guitar Rig 6. Something that's really important when you're processing guitars is being in control of your reverb. And let me show you what I mean by this. I'm about to turn the dry wet up so you can really hear what's going on. What you really want to focus on is the decay time because watch what happens if it's really long. Now this is cool if you're going for like a pad or an ambient type sound, but if you just have some chords, a really long decay time is gonna make things really messy. But what I found that works really well on things like this is to go with a short or a medium decay time. A lot of times in Airy DOA songs, I think they're using a chorus as well. And let's see what that adds. Just gives it a little bit more texture. Next, we got a little lead line that I think is kind of cool. Doesn't sound the best, but in the context of the loop, I think it's cool. For the lead, I use this 80s pop chorus preset, which I just found out in Rio's recent YouTube video that he uses that a lot. So it's cool that we both got just, you know, amazing magical ears, I guess. <laughs> just kidding, he's crazy. Another thing I noticed in Eric DOA's production is that he merges a lot of times guitar with synths. And so that's what I did next. I added a little bass, Rio's Bermuda bass. I think that's from his Pluto One Shot kit. I like that little thing at the end. Yeah. Sometimes you can just use the raw sound and just throw it. But in a lot of these modern beats, like they're really like messing it up with pitch shifting, format, you know, just like really going crazy. And so that's what I tried to do here. Like see like that, it's super dry. And so we want to add either some wetness of some sort. So step number one, I'll just go one by one. Got this portal plug in first. It's on this weird preset. So it's adding like a little top kind of glitch to it. And this is where like a lot of the heavy lifting is, is this delay. And the key was turning up the feedback. Yeah, it's kind of annoying if you let it ring out for a while. Something I've also been realizing with EQ recently is that you can do so much by just taking out lows and highs. Everyone's trying to do these like 100 notch like <laughs> kind of curves you know which is cool but the more advanced of a producer i become like i just try to do less like keep it simple and then i wanted a little bit more movement and so i used this brower motion plugin on the mhb jitters i thought it was cool because it just made it go like left right side to side just going crazy making it a little different and so here's what all the instruments sound like So for this build up section, decided to filter everything out a little bit. That's something I'll do often. Added a little break beat. Added some stomps. You already know we got the kick. And then going into it, I love using these like And so for these transitions, a lot of times I'll just take impacts or stomps. 
copy it over, reverse it. Make sure to cut this little piece off because a lot of times it'll sound bad. Yeah, it can be cool if you're going for that, but a lot of times I'll take that off. Yeah, that kind of like whips you into the next section. Also got a little fill. I think these are from Rio's pack as well. Yep. So the last thing to keep in mind with these Air DOA type beats is arrangement. And what I mean by that is really noticing the pocket of the drums. Cause in a lot of his songs, he'll do like a trap type beat and then like four on the floor, like doom, 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 and then go to a completely different thing. If you're going for this style, every eight or 16 bars, you ideally want to change the type of drum kind of style or pocket that you're going for. Some options are four on the floor, trap type beats, Jersey club type bounce, or like an indie pop rock type thing in terms of the master I just literally have a saturator with a soft clip sometimes i'll drive it a little bit like maybe like one or 0.57 just to give it a little extra boost but i didn't feel like this really needed it on this beat as far as this next section goes i decided to go the trap route and this is what it sounds like Everything's pretty standard here. I think the thing that's kind of interesting is just switching to 808 halfway through. I had this 808. And then went to this distorted type 808. So that's something to try out, whether having two 808s kind of bouncing like call and response back and forth to each other, or using one 808 on the first half of a hook or a verse, and then changing the 808 on the second half of the verse or the hook. Now, if there's anything that I didn't explain very well, or that you want to see me make another video on, just let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to get right on that. Other than that, y'all keep vibing. I'll catch you next time. Peace.